Okay, so right now I want to talk about two things, a mo this book and a movie. The movie is called Bitter Harvest and the book is called Execution by Hunger, the Hidden Holocaust. Holocaust. And I'm going to tell you what both of these are about. Okay, bo both of the book and the movie both are based on a real incident, a genocide, you know, a famine that killed millions of people. People like in 1932 to 1933, it was called the Holodomar, also known as um, the Ukrainian famine. I mean, this famine happened in Soviet Union, and and although a lot of people were uh, were killed in former Soviet Union, most of the victims were people from Ukraine. Like a lot of Ukrainians were killed. Like seven to ten million total people were were killed and majority of the victims were people from Ukraine. Now I'm going to talk to you about both the movie first. This movie is called Bitter Harvest and um and let me tell you something. It's this is a very good movie. It's not a, it's not it's not as good as Schindler's List, but it's a pretty good movie about about gen a genocide and anyway it's it's although it's based on real incident there's some fiction to it, you know. And the main actors, main actors in this film are Max Irons. There's Samantha Barks, Bear, Barry Pepper, Tom, Tamir Hassan, and Taryn Stamp. And you know, backstory here tells us about is set against the set against the explosive war-torn backdrop of 1930s Ukraine. This action-filled epic follows a young artist Max Iron as he battles famine, imprisonment and torture to save his childhood love and free his country. So, you know, it's basically about, although it's fictionalized, it's based during the era, the time this incident happened, the Haldemar, and you see how it really happened. Like, you know, millions of people were, you know, starved to death. They were sent to this camp, these death camps called the Gulags. You know, the, the Gulags were actually just as bad, or if not worse than... The concentration camps and a lot of people were killed in the gulags too and you see this movie is really good i thought and it's around 100 minutes long and this book well it's called execution by hunger the hidden holocaust and it's basically it says there's seven million people in the bread basket of europe were deliberately starved to death at stalin's command the story has been suppressed for half a century. Now a survivor speaks. And anyway, the person who wrote this book, his name is Miran Dolot, or Myron Dolot. He's like the author, and you know he was alive during the famine, and he he saw he saw it before in his his own eyes. And this book is really good. You know, from back it says here, you know, in night. In 1929, in an effort to destroy the well-to-do peasant farmers, Joseph Stalin ordered the collectivization of all Ukrainian farms. In the ensuing years, a brutal Soviet campaign of confiscation, terrorizing, and murder spread throughout Ukrainian villages. Without food, rem without food uh, remained after the Caesars was in suffering insufficient to support the population in the resulting famine as many as seven million ukrainians starved to death this pyogenic eyewitness account of the ukrainian famine by one of the survivors relates to young myron Dilat's day-to-day confrontation with despair and death his helplessness as as friends uh and family were arrested and abused and his gradual realization as he matured of the absolute control the Soviets had over his life and lives of his people. But it's, it is also the story of personal dignity in face of horror and humiliation. And, is, and it is an indictment of a chapter in the Soviet past that is still not acknowledged by Russian leaders. And my, Miran Dela is a teacher of Slavic languages and lives in California. And he was, you know, he saw this... He lived through it, through this, and he, he, he's telling the story through his own eyes. And I'm sorry for, you know, for not being, like, when I was reading the stuff in, in the back, you know, I, I didn't do it, you know, 
good job. Uh, but uh, I'm so, I apologize about it. So I'll show you once again how it's like. Oh, it's hard to see that. But yeah, and uh, so yeah, both. Uh, if you get, if you want to know about the Haljamar, I suggest first you, you know look it up on Google. You go on Google and look it up, and also I suggest you watch this movie and read this book. And you know, I I like them both a lot. And I think they they both tell told the story very well. As for the book i think it's around 220 pages something like that it's a really good book and uh and you know my opinion on all this is i well russia is a great country and you know and they have given up all the some of the like a lot of the you know red terror stuff that doesn't but you know this the past is you know cannot be ignored i mean they have a lot a lot of dark past and you know this incident is not that well known by many people the haljomar and, you know, like I said, I, mean, I respect Russia. I think it's a great country, but, you know, they do have a dark past and very few people know about the Haldomar. So, yeah, if you want, if you're interested in the, in the Haldomar, you know, you can check out this movie, Bitter Harvest. And you can also, like, read this book, Execution by Hunger, The Hidden Holocaust. So, yeah, that was my review on both. I mean, my, 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 me telling you about, you know, the movie and the book. And also sort of my mini review on it, I, yeah.